Does your setup make a difference when you first start streaming? Do you need to have top tier stuff or do you just need to start off with whatever you got? What do you think is the difference maker? YouTube, what is going on guys today? Got a brand new episode of Ridge Talks, episode four. We're gonna get into Ooh. some more fantastic topics. I'm really excited today and I hope that you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Welcome in everyone. Uh, for, what we're gonna start off with is, does your setup make a difference when you first start streaming? So do you need to have top tier stuff or do you just need to start off with whatever you got? What do you think is the difference maker? So all you can ask big streamers this all the time and they're going to say, just stream. Yeah. And that's true. Just stream like whatever. And the only thing that a better setup does is get you higher quality. So like it doesn't change the stream. It yeah. just changes the quality of what people are seeing. So if you're a good, if you're a good entertainer, I don't think the setup really matters. I mean, there's people that I know that are full-time con. Well, I don't know them personally, Yeah. but I watch that are full-time content creators, hundred plus K, like it's what they do. And they still have their monitors sitting on, on, on books. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't think, I mean, obviously yes, reinvest, make it better. Like I, I've spent unnecessary amount of money on my setup and Facts. I just, but it's something I want to do. But if you're on an Xbox and you have a connect for your webcam, who cares? Yeah. Just stream, put in the time do your research, get better, target algorithms and you'll grow. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I like, like you said, everyone says just start with whatever you got, which is true. If that's all you have, then that's what you can start with. Mm -hmm. Like don't go into debt or nothing, trying to get all this top gear and stuff. But yeah, at the same time, it's kind of like a double edged sword. Cause I do think quality makes a difference. It does. When people are scrolling through, they're more likely probably going to click on someone that the setup looks a little bit cleaner, at least, I'd say like camera wise or whatever, but overall, like you said, if you're a good personality, someone's going to, they're going to mess with you if they enjoy with what you're putting out there. Yeah. And I mean, that's, that's more advice for like, if you're getting started, Yeah. right? Like just, just get on and do it. Just yeah. start going. But like you said, there's people that are probably making millions of dollars and they have like, I think what I show speed, like his yeah. setup is, is not like great. There's the but guy he's, he's I was crushing it on YouTube. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he doesn't get banned, but yeah, <laughs> but the guy that I was referencing is Joel's TV. He's a fantastic content creator. Um, 18 plus, but he, uh, he does like Valorant coachings and just, he's a Valorant content creator and his monitors sit on a desk. Yeah. On, on a desk. Duh. They sit on books. Yeah. And that's his monitors. Down. Yeah. I mean, Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you want that perfect hype, you know, put a couple books under there. Yeah. I mean, I guess, but like, honestly, like, I started out streaming on Xbox to Mixer, no camera, just playing with my friends, doing stupid stuff. Like, it didn't matter. Like, just put in the time, get used to it, get comfortable with it. You'll know quickly if you're going to be about it or not. Yeah. Because if you, because a lot of people try it, they see that number one, that number one in the view count and then they just give up. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm definitely, I'm always wanting to improve my setup personally, but yeah. I'm an adult and I have a full-time job, so I'm able to afford doing some of these things exactly. but i also started off i mean i'm still we're literally recording on a webcam right now because <laughs> we didn't have a long enough usb cable so i mean this i think this camera when i bought it was like 60 bucks and it's you know six years old now but it still yeah. looks pretty solid like mm -hmm. we're at a point where i'd rather invest money in our audio coming better coming through better and sounding better versus having like a nice camera yeah which we had the gopro we just got to figure that out. We'll probably use that yeah, eventually, but for sure, I guess yeah. We're just using what we got. Yeah. We made an invest investment in the audio, which will make a difference through the podcast. But um, if you guys are listening to this and you're wanting to get into streaming, you don't even need a webcam. People make it just by streaming their gameplay. Yep. Just be a good personality, but don't don't change who you are. Yeah. Stay true to you. Don't change your personality. Be who you are. Be trans. A little transparent and you're gonna make waves honestly just find your niche like stream try things out find your niche see what grows a little bit stick to it but don't get bored of it and just have fun with it most importantly i've had so many times i've ha i'm on my second twitch channel yeah and my first twitch channel it's i cared about the numbers too much 
care about the view count too much. I was in a, I was in another organization that was just super toxic and it just got burnt out. So I was like, you know what? I'm starting over. And I started over and then that started coming back on my second channel. So I had to take a break. So yeah, I don't, guess don't, don't be toxic with it. Just be you. Yeah. This is technically my second channel too. Cause I had my personal one that I tried to stream it on. And mm -hmm. I think I was definitely more into like not seeing the growth. Like I thought I would. So I kind of just fizzled off and then I just kind of stopped playing games for a while. Yeah. And then we started doing this in 2021 back in January and we multi-streamed to Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, all that stuff. And we get some people in here in there, here and there, but we only stream one, one day a week for a while. Yeah. We really didn't see like a lot of growth until like December. Mm. So you're talking almost a full year until we really started like building up our Twitch community. Mm -hmm. And like once we got that foundation of people coming to our streams consistently that just made it so much different your mental just gets kind of a boost from it yeah for and sure. then we've been just kind of slowly growing that community we still got the people from back in the day when we we're multi-streaming but then also just like getting those new people in and getting just building that community and it's just it's very encouraging and we're not just like blowing up overnight right or nothing but we have a good solid steady growth and the lines are on an upward trend yeah. And it's solid for us. And we'd I rather mean, you're catching, you guys are catching me on Twitch. So yeah, as are moving up, well, you, you, you took a break too. So it's like, yeah. so we've been consistent for, I'd see you know, on Twitch. We've been streaming almost five days a week since December. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you just got back into it. I took, I took about a month and a half, two month break yeah. um, from new year's until like end of February. So. Yeah. But it's just being consistent and, mm -hmm. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get a clip that's going to blow you up. Sometimes you just, you get those raids. Like, honestly, that's a big part of us growing is just getting random raids from people. Yeah. And then meeting new people. Mm. We met Benny because he raided us because he heard of us through rough toilet paper, I think. Yeah. And it's like, and just word kind of gets around a little bit. And then it's like. Yeah, Benny's sick. Yeah. Shout out Benny Shoe, Shoe Crew. Yep. Check him out. But yeah, so your setup, just start. If you want to get into it, just try it. If you want to vlog on YouTube, just use your phone. Yep. Like that's what just, obviously everyone says that. Yeah. And but it's true though. It's yeah, it is true. I mean, we've all we've all started there. Like Tim the Tatman used to tape used to duct tape his webcam to the wall behind his monitor to get yeah. the angle that he has now. A lot of people think like Tim and all, all these people blew up overnight, but they've been they streaming didn't. for like what almost ten years now. Yeah. Like I've been watching Tim the Tatman since twenty thirteen. We're almost ten years deep, and yeah. he was already a year in at that point. Yeah, there is a reason why Tim is so big as he is now mm -hmm. and how he's staying relevant and continuing to grow. To grow. Um, but you're just it's not going to happen overnight. No. Very small percentage of that happens to people. Yep. And in that like I think when we watched that myth video, he it kind of happened to him, right? But then it was hard for him to maintain it and like he it was didn't just maintain a, it. his mental health got in the way. He started playing different games. Yeah. That's another thing, too. It's like, yes, find your niche in that game and then stick to it. But, like, also, I think you do a good job of splitting up the games that you're maining. Like, you, you main Fortnite and yeah. a little bit of Call of Duty here and there. But on the weekends, you play other stuff. And it's good because then the people who only watch you for those games know that you're going to be streaming that yeah. on Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever the case is. So I think it's good to, like, find your niche, get settled in it, and then start to make a schedule and be let it known. Like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do on these days and just be up front. Yeah. Yeah, if you start off from the beginning, kind of like how we've been doing it, and I would I don't know if we'd be called, like, variety streamers, but we definitely found our niche in Fortnite. That's where we saw a lot of growth. But we don't want to play Fortnite all the time. Like, there's other games I want to play. Yeah. But I also know, like... Fortnite's kind of what helped us get to where we're at now. So we're going to keep playing that during the week. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we play other stuff on, on the weekends or like I'm going to start playing Madden on Thursdays exactly. going along with the NFL season. So it's like... And people are expecting it. Yeah, they're going to be expecting it. They know what's happening. And I mean, the other night I decided to play Road Company just for, <laughs> for, for fun. Yeah. And we had like 15 viewers the whole yeah, night. I'm like, are killing it. all right, like that's freaking awesome. And like, yeah. and what's... I think what's good about that is you can get some people from other games that you're not going to get if that's all they're watching is Rogue. Mm -hmm. They're going to see you playing that game, then they might pop in the other streams. Yep, for sure. Because let's be honest, it's hard to play one single game all the time unless you're just really addicted to it. Yeah. Like I them. still enjoy playing Fortnite. I mean, I don't mind playing it during the week, but mm. 
if I play it every single stream, I'm going to get burnt out on it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I definitely, I'm like, I hyper obsess over stuff that I like. So I'll, I'll play one game for a long time. But recently I've been trying to split it up between the games that I like. And like right now it's three games. It's Warzone, Valorant, and, and Fortnite. And the only reason I'm not playing Valorant is because we don't have servers right now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thanks, Valorant. But those are games I like, and I'll go through a Minecraft phase probably next year. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, dude, I'm probably gonna start playing PUBG <laughs> on YouTube. Or, I don't know, man, you gotta try that new game. I, yes, uh, Super People, I think, started off as kind of like a ripoff of PUBG, but it's kind of it kind of gives me PUBG vibes for it gives, sure. It's PUBG vibes, but it looks like it runs a lot better. And all of a sudden, they must have found money because they're sponsoring people now. Yeah. So, so actually, I just got. I'm buying Trevor's old PC, so I think I'm actually going to install that game and check it out. That's like another thing back to the setup thing. I didn't need to buy a new PC. That one works perfectly fine, but I wanted to because I can. Because you're a big boy. And I'm a big boy. And my streams... We make big boy decisions around here. <laughs> and my my games have been performing a little better. So oh, yeah. things are just flowing a little better. And I wanted to buy a new PC because I wanted to buy a new PC. So I did. So um, like this PC is only a year old. So <laughs> I mean... We probably could have kept recording the podcast over the GoPro, but I think you guys will agree. We're sounding pretty dang good right now. <laughs> We're sounding pretty <laughs> solid. <laughs> so, so. Uh, oh yeah. So just, just know you're going to get to that point. And then hey, you never know if you get big on Twitch, then you can buy where, whatever the frick you want. Yeah. Very true. But and keep a budget. If you want to buy new stuff, budget it. Don't be stupid. Make sure you have money in the account and pull the trigger. And there's a lot of great products out there that are at a decent price too. You don't have mm. to get just because these top streamers got just the top of line stuff. And like, you don't have to get that stuff. Right. Like, I don't think these mics are cheap, but they're also not like the most expensive mics you can get. I mean, they're not sure as some seven B's. So yeah, I'm going to put them in the trash now, <laughs> but they're also, they're also great. Like it, I mean, you like a sure SM seven B is only 800 bucks or is 800 bucks just in its cell. Yeah, we're not at that point yet. So, uh, yeah, but these are great. We're going to keep on trucking. Uh, overall, solid purchase. Big boy over here. Road sponsor. Yeah, Road, if you want to sponsor the boys, uh, you know. Frank's a big purchaser. Big, uh, you know, that brings up a good point. I just thought of it. So, kind of transitioning a little bit on sponsorships. Do you actively think of where you're at right now? Are you looking to try to get sponsored or do you want to wait until you get to a point where it makes more sense to get sponsored? Absolutely not. You want to bring I will, it in? I will not take a sponsorship. Oh, you won't? No, absolutely not. So I come from a motocross background. Mm -hmm. um, I was supposed to be pro. I wasn't, I probably wouldn't have been a successful pro, but I was going to go pro and I had sponsors, but I didn't start getting sponsors until I was at that level. Right. And I kind of have the same mentality for streaming. If I'm not big enough to represent a company and actually bring some some eyeballs to their company, then I don't want it. Don't yeah. don't waste your time. Don't reach out to me. When when I have a solid a solid setting, a solid platform, then we'll talk. But right now, I have nothing to offer them. I really don't. Yeah. I don't think besides the four or five people that are diehards and will actually actually want to support me, support them. Cool. Yeah. But no. There's no, there's no monetary value there. And that's yeah. how my mind works through motocross. Like I got all the way to the point of, of being sponsored by Yamaha directly because I was bringing in results and I was getting people to buy their product and, and stuff like that. And you know, I was, that's because I was at that level, mm -hmm. but I'm not at that level on streaming right now. It's like, that's just an added stress that to the plate and I don't need it. Yeah. I guess I'm more so I was just thinking like people on Twitter are always trying to like get attention of people and stuff. And it's like, yeah. I don't really, sometimes I'll do it for fun, but obviously I know we're not at a point where it would probably make sense for someone to actually sponsor us because mm -hmm. what's their return from it? That's how I what's, look at it. Yeah. And that's how your point you're making. And it's like, I want to be at a point where I don't want to reach out. I want people to reach out to us. I want yeah, them to see sure. the value in us and how they can, we could collab together Yeah, and do absolutely. something. And also for us too, like we're not going to just take whatever sponsorship just because it looks cool to have it. Like I want, right. I want it to be something that we would believe in that we'd use and all three, Dave, myself and Frank would agree on mm -hmm. or as like an organization as a whole. So that's kind of where I'm at on that. I just kind of do it for fun. I mean, Crocs, if you're listening to this, I'll definitely, I actually might. Okay. If Crocs wants to throw a sponsorship out, I'll probably take that. One. I mean, like, look, 
I've had a couple of Twitter interactions with HyperX. I'm a big HyperX fan. I, I love their mice and keyboards. And I even thought about getting rid of my Elgato Wave 3 for their HyperX quadcast. Ooh. I'm a big fan of Elgato too. But HyperX has actually talked to me on Twitter. And I told them I was going to be sponsored by them one day. And they said they'd, they'll be waiting for me. So yeah, that made me a super fan of HyperX. So, um, but yeah, I mean, don't, I don't want you guys to think like, like, Take my opinion. It's my opinion. Like yeah. you don't have to think. I'm actually anyone, triggered right now from your opinion. Anyone so. in the listening too? Like don't if 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 Raid Shadow Legends emails you for for a sponsored stream and you want to do it, go do it. Do do what you think is fun for you. Like it's your thing. But for me, that's my opinion and that's what I'm sticking by because realistically, I'm looking for return on investment. And if I was a company, I wouldn't sponsor myself. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically we did the Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, but we made Dave, money from it. But though. Dave's also like Dave crushed super it. into the community, yeah. and he has like a whole other separate Discord but that just one, for Rage. That one we knew we could probably hit like the marks for that one. Yeah, and so it wasn't like getting like, hey, they're going to pay you a thousand dollars, but you got to at least get like forty people to click on that link and mm-hmm. purchase something. It was like just get people to download the game, check it out. Yeah, so it wasn't like a too risky of one. And right, like I said, Dave's got a pretty good following on that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, eventually the boys will be sponsored, and at, when that time comes, you guys will obviously know about it. It's obviously. probably not anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. So, how has the YouTube slash Twitch growth been going for Trevor? This has been a phenomenal past couple of months for me. Twelve hour YouTube is just I've low key been crushing the YouTube game as of late. Um, but yeah, I think I had a month where I, <laughs> I think I had like 30 plus follows on Twitch in one month. And for a lot of people, that's, they get that in one day. But for us small creators, that was massive. Heck yeah. I'm really close. To, I like, I think when I joined Ridge, I was at 260 followers and I'm at 394 right now. And that's just since May. So <laughs> like that's, that's just the growth from joining Ridge. And then YouTube, we're all, we just hit 180 subs and I was at like 75 when I joined. So it's like the growth has been tremendous. Um, I'm really excited to continue. Like I'm really hyper focused on YouTube right now. I'm really excited just to push out YouTube content. Yeah. But ever since joining Ridge and actually grinding harder than I did before and scheduling my days to where I can put out quality content, it's changed everything for me. Yeah. So it's, it's been really fun. Yeah, we've definitely been seeing some pretty good growth as well. For sure on YouTube, Twitch has been kind of like our steady little climb. Sometimes one month will be a little bit more than the others, but we're still, Mm -hmm. I think we're 371 followers on Twitch right now. So I think we can get close to 400 within the next month or so. Yeah. Um, Twitch has been solid. YouTube, we've seen a lot of growth. Um, We actually just got our first viral short. Let's channel. go. <laughs> We're at 104,000 views on it. <laughs> so sick. I think a couple thousand likes. Um, it was just a stupid clip from <laughs> Trevor's 12 hour stream. We're playing Fall Guys and just getting absolutely bullied by the game. So just got trolled hard. I got sure. trolled hard, but I did clutch up and end up qualifying us for that match. So you did. But the clip, it just shows me getting wrecked. And <laughs> a lot of people on YouTube are talking smack to me about it, saying I had no sense of direction, like this guy sucks, and bring him on. Give, yeah. me the, give me the comments. Boost our algorithm. <laughs> Boost it up. <laughs> we'll take it. So that was one of my goals was I was actually looking back in my notebook right here, and I have it written down for YouTube. And one of my goals was to get um, a 5K short and a 10K short <laughs> so, this year. Nice. So we well, definitely crushed both of those. We crushed both of those. Um, I don't even – up to this point, I don't know if we've had a 5K short. So that one – we usually get around a thousand to a couple thousand, sometimes like three, but absolutely just blew that out of the water. So I actually just wrote that in, in the notebook today that we crushed that goal. That's sick. So, um, like Trevor said, we are also focusing on YouTube a lot more. Um, just from what I've watched, I've decided that YouTube's going to be the main focus for content. We keep doing what we're doing on Twitch, but the discoverability on Twitch is a lot tougher than YouTube and we're seeing a good growth on YouTube as well. I think when we started the year, I don't know if we had less than 20 subs, I think this year and we're up to two sixteen right now. And primarily it's been from posting shorts, but now we're starting to integrate the longer form content. So we're still trying to figure that out, but I just been, I'm super pumped on it and I'm just 
I think we're both just really motivated with it right now. And your edits have been getting insane. Like they're looking like a somewhat like a really popular person would throw out there. Like it's, it's a good edit. Yeah. I might, I have a, I like to call my team. I have a little, Trevor's have, got a team. I have a team now. Um, I kind of had one before, but kind of disbanded a little bit, but now I have my team and they're, they're just as driven as I am. And they're taking the time to not only teach me new things, but pitch me new ideas and just really want wanting to grow with me specifically and it's been like even just today like the i don't even care like i posted a short and it went like to 2.3k views in 30 minutes yeah but i'm like more proud of the video than i am of the short because the video i put out today just feels like i put so much more effort into it and it's one of my best ones i've put out yeah like like aesthetically and just not even performing wise it's just it's just a good editing edited video so yeah um yeah i kind of uh i kind of like discredit that my shorts other people don't again this is my take but i kind of discredit shorts a little bit because it definitely pads your analytics pretty gnarly so i kind of just like put them away because realistically shorts don't do nothing for for your monetization push and that's kind of so like that's why i've been pushing long form content weekly and Honestly, long form content is way more satisfying when you press the render button and you get to watch it all come together. It's just so satisfying. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I, I got no beef with it. I'll take the analytic boost. My ego can grow a little bit. Oh, no, it definitely boosts your <laughs> ego no matter what you do. That's for no, sure. It, I think it just depends. Like, And that's kind of how you started your, your YouTube. And mm-hmm. I think just how it works for us in like our lives, like, it's harder for me to make those style of edits. So we're posting more. I'm definitely focusing on like golf videos, obviously the podcast now. Mm -hmm. Um, If we do upload gameplays, it's kind of just a straight rip from the stream. Like we're just putting out there. There's not as much effort into it. So we do want to change that a little bit. I think I'm transitioning from trying to post a short every single day to posting more quality shorts with a little bit more editing in them and as well as doing the longer form video. So yeah, I'll be sick. I don't think there's a right or a wrong way to do it. Agreed. It's whatever works best for you personally yeah. and how you want to do it. Yeah, for sure. And it, each each one comes hand in hand. Like you're going to post shorts mm-hmm. and you're going to get good shorts and it's going to bring people to your channel. Absolutely. But you're also going to have people that are looking forward to your longer form videos. Also bringing up, bringing up the shorts, the tweet that came out this week. Uh, oh, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pull it up. That's definitely something good to bring up. Uh, was it? On yeah, he replied team? back to me too. Yeah. So it's just good because so I don't know if it's an update or if it's even been rolled out yet. Was it on your private or on your personal? I think I read. Yeah, I retweeted it on my personal Twitter. So this guy, this YouTuber, pretty big YouTuber, put out a tweet saying that YouTube algorithm is starting to shift. So now if you're if someone likes your short, they're going to start getting recommended your long form content videos as well as your shorts on their discover page, which is massive Mm -hmm. because shorts has a massive like it does pad your analytics, but it also has a massive reach because shorts the shorts feed is very popular. Yep. so that is super exciting for smaller content creators because that's just another thing that they have to help us be more more discoverable yep. and that's super exciting like you learn to target algorithm with your shorts you're gonna and then you start targeting with your um long form content it's just gonna be icing on the cake and you're gonna start yeah. either getting a fast climb or a slow climb who knows but you're still gonna be climbing yeah so. i just almost threw up on my carpet <laughs> choking on a little bone thing not an actual bone it's just a chew toy but uh yeah i i completely agree it was cool to see that yeah um I guess it just justified my thought process on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, just do what works best for you. Absolutely. Some people do really well on Instagram reels. They have a process for that. Mm. Um, And even if all you can do is just post little short clips and can't edit them, like they pop off. Like that's what I've done for the most part. Yeah. Sometimes I put a lot of effort into a short with like the putting the captions on the video and trying to make it funny and stuff. And yeah, they flop. Yeah. And then I just literally post a clip from fall guys with minimal editing all i all i did was just put a title on like the fall guys bullying me and it just blows up and that's just a great example of targeting algorithm and like fall guys is in right now but it was funny though because when i posted it, i posted it like 
seven thirty PM. I was just trying to post something. Mm. I got a few views and it was like, Oh, that's kind of a flop. And right before I went to bed around like 10 30, 11, my phone starts like popping off with like email notifications saying <laughs> people are subbing like what's going on. This thing's just blowing up and it's freaking like at over 5,000 views. I'm like in my head, I'm like, I'm going to go to sleep right now. I think this has a chance to go viral. <laughs> and I checked the video the next day and it was over a hundred thousand views. I'm like, so sick. what? That is so cool. Like, so insane. And we gained probably give or take 60, 80 subs. I think it said 80, but 20 of them were like fake or got pulled off or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. But I will say YouTube's insane. on top of their bio accounts. That's yeah. for sure. Which is nice because you can at least get an accurate number. Yeah. So that was, that felt really cool to get like a, I don't know. I feel like in today's like, that's not even viral. It's just like micro viral or, yeah. oh, that's a decent video. But for me, that's viral. <laughs> checked a, a goal off the list for the year and i was just really happy Dude, so, the stigma around what's what's a lot and what's not is what? just so so saturated to the fact of people think a thousand viewers is small when people make entire livings off of 250 concurrent viewers yeah no for sure i like, think like i think tiktok ruined that a lot yeah i think tiktok is i don't vine never did those kind of numbers did they i don't know i wasn't on vine I, I know Vine did well, but I feel like TikTok is just like, especially because you don't get paid much from it. So there's people that just have millions of likes and all this stuff, and it's like they're not making anything from it. But, but it's they like they have to post seven videos a day just to get, make a living. Yeah, like yeah, I'm not I'm not stressing TikTok too much. I'd rather push, like I said, YouTube is at the top of what I want to do. Mm. Funnel that down to get people to go to our Twitch. And then obviously from our YouTube videos, we'll post like shorts. So shorts are easy. You can literally post a short, a TikTok, and an Instagram reel if you want them to be the same. Mm. I think it depends on what platform you're on because like I feel like Instagram's not as good for posting gaming clips. Instagram. I feel like shorts are good for gaming clips. TikTok's all right if you do them right, but I feel like TikTok's got to kind of its own little lane of style videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I'm just putting lot of focus on youtube right now yeah same i hate tiktok <laughs> maybe that's my hot take tiktok's trash oh kind um, of the hot take tiktok is trash my team it's really just cobalt and i but cobalt it sounds cool when you say your team yeah my team's pushing pushing tiktok so i'm probably gonna remake a tiktok and just let them completely have it and yeah. just they can they can take care of it completely because i want nothing to do with tiktok i can't stand the app i think yeah. it just wastes too much time and I just don't want to see it. So I'm actually pretty good. I never really sit on TikTok and just scroll through it. Every once in a while, if I'm like super bored, I'll do it. But yeah, I'll scroll through a couple of videos. I more so just try to go on there to support some of our friends that post on there and then mm -hmm. call it a day because I'm basically the content guy for Ridge. So yeah. I'm posting on most everything. But Frank, actually, we just decided like Frank's going to start focusing on Instagram. Okay. So he's going to be kind of maining Instagram. I'm maining YouTube, TikTok kind of twitter stuff yeah and then dave is dave. playing raid <laughs> <laughs> i no. mean so like so faction tries fam if i do make it if i do have a tiktok up there and i don't follow you back it's because it's it's being ran by the team um probably the ridge members will get it follow backs but it's not going to be a tiktok for social it's going to be a tiktok for clips and that's it so if you don't get a follow back no hard feelings yeah it's really hard to for the most part, most of our channels, we besides Twitter, we kind of just follow people back because I don't really care on that. Mm -hmm. But I really want to grow our presence and not having to follow people back. Like, I yeah. want you to follow us because you want to follow us and not expect to follow back. Exactly. And if you're following us for a follow back and you keep following us, cool. Yeah, like, I mean, you shouldn't get mad over that because like, that's just not what I want to do. Like, right. I want we want to build it organically. And we want you to follow us because you want to. And if you happen to keep following us because you're just trying to get a follow, yeah, that's on that person that does right. it. But yeah, the other day I got a follower from Hover, and the guy like mess sent me a paragraph on Twitch Whispers, and he was like, "Hey man, just hit you with the follow. It looks like you got some great contact, man. Like, thank you so much. And yeah, man, I'll um, you can follow me back." And I was like, I didn't respond. I just deleted the message. But it's like, dude, do not. I don't do follow for follow. Yeah. If you want to be here, be here. But if you don't, then don't don't waste my time yeah. or your time. It just looks better too. Like if you, I think on Hover we're getting close to 100 followers, and I think we follow like eight people. Yeah, I follow like, like nothing. It's like 
it just looks better because then it doesn't look like you're just following every single person. Like, yeah, I want our ratio to be more followers than people are following. Yeah, I've had Instagram. We're we're doing pretty solid. We're almost up to 200 follows, and I think we only follow like 29 people. Nice. I got a. I had this verified Twitter account follow me, and he had like 50k followers, but he was following for 49k. Jeez. And it's like, and then I had this. Uh, that's just too much stuff coming down the feed. That's too much stuff. You don't know what's going on. You're verified because you follow people. But then I had uh, this, I'm not going to say her name because she's actually kind of big, but she followed me on, on Twitter and she's a Warzone content creator. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll follow you back. And then I followed her back and then she unfollowed me. So she was fishing for like a follow and then unfollowed. And I was like, that's kind of weird. So I just like, unfollowed because i don't like their content but oof i was like okay that's kind of weird but i can see it though i can see like especially for her she's kind of attractive she follows she fishes for a follow on twitch then unfollows them simple that's easy yeah unfortunate um if you guys are still listening to right now can we get an r.i.p trev <laughs> on twitter <laughs> nah hey i mean she you notice it so unfollow yeah, I mean, it's, like, what, it's, it's what just, was the point? It's just weird. It's like, okay, you're. I can tell you're fishing for a follow. I mean, yeah. I, and it works for you. Good. You're you're doing. You're a lot more successful than I am already. But yeah, no, I'm not about that. All right. Well, I think we're we're getting pretty deep into this. Um, do we have any Discord questions? Yes, I have a specific question. Trevor has a very very specific. And Discord this question. is this is for the faction. This is for for the faction. This is for the people around. Um. So, Ridge Gaming is, so far, as far as, to my knowledge, is all Ridgecrest people so far. Currently, yes. Like, our content creators are all based in in Ridgecrest. Will Ridge Gaming always be exclusive to Ridgecrest, or is Ridge Gaming going to be an organization that expands out of the town? That's a very interesting question, and to answer that, uh, no, it's not exclusive to Ridgecrest. It just happened to be most people live here, and which is cool because we can grow our local brand and have people show up to the events and stuff. But if you guys watch us on Twitch and are interested in joining Ridge gaming as a content creator, you can do it from anywhere. As long as that's sick, as long as you're streaming and you're putting the work in to meet the qualifications of what we're looking for and want to be a family friendly content creator. Cause that's very important to us. Then anyone can apply as long as you're old enough to do it. Um, I think we, if you're under 18, then you have to get, uh, get it signed off basically saying, yeah, they're allowed to do this. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if we're just going based off of like Twitch guidelines or for like 16 and above California guidelines are 13 and up. You can't have a 13 under 13 under contract. Um, I mean, that's great though. That's super exciting for, for the community because that just opens the door to a lot more creators. Yeah. Yeah. I've had some people ask us like you know what involves being a content creator and like what we're looking for is people that want to be a part of what we're doing and help us build what we're building Mm -hmm. and because we want to build a team we want to have an organization that eventually can compete with other big organizations that are currently out there Mm -hmm. um but we also want to have the right people doing it with us that believe in the same things that we believe in yeah so obviously family friendly um just being somewhat consistent like to you know you're streaming a few times a week like the roller face, he's, he streams pretty pretty frequently for what he can. Mm-hmm. He's still, you know, going to school and stuff. Um, but, I mean, you've proved you're more than <laughs> capable of meeting the requirements. Like, you're crushing it. Mm-hmm. And it's just, what's cool about it is it's not like we're a freaking huge org that you're joining that we're, you're just going to get, like, if you joined 100 Thieves or Faze, like, you're not going to just get, like, thousands of followers from joining us. But you're going to grow with us. Our communities are going to combine, you know, you'll get a lot of people that are what from our viewership that'll start supporting you, which will help, you know, if you're a new streamer and you're wanting to build your, your stream up, that's a big difference going from maybe one or two viewers to, Hey, you got a few more people coming in there. It's going to help yeah. ego boost you help sure. just give you a better mental and like grow your viewership. And so yeah. we're, we're just looking for people that are like-minded that want to join. We're, uh, we're trying to do it slowly. We're not going too fast with it. So currently we have two content creators, one in the books and possibly a couple others. So I think for this year, we're trying to hit five content creators and then we'll most likely expand um, into next year. 
So is there going to be an affiliation requirement or is there, what's the deal with that? I think we are going to start that to where we want people to at least be affiliated on Twitch or I don't know for YouTube, it's a little different, but probably pretty similar to like YouTube or Twitch stats. Um, just so it's kind of like a kind of proves that you're, you put the work in a little bit. Mm. So you don't, you're not just joining us just to get the boost and you want to leave. Yeah. Cause that's not what we want. Yeah. Um, so we have the month long, the month long application process. Yep. We want to be affiliated and this can be on any platform, any platform. You can play on Xbox, PlayStation, switch. You can be just chatting. You could literally do anything you want. Content creation. You don't even have to stream. Like if you just want to upload content on YouTube and stuff and, or do TikTok, like it doesn't matter. Like we're, we're going to expand into everything. We're just kind of starting off with streaming. Yeah, so but I know the, Facebook the roller, gaming. Yeah, Facebook gaming. Whatever. The roller face, I know he wants to do some skating stuff. So, like, we're not just gaming, too. Like, we're Ridge Gaming, esports, and traditional sports. So, that's why we do a lot of golf stuff on our channel. Like, so if you just want to make sick videos and be a vlogger or something, like, join the place. A lifestyle content creator. Yeah. Well, that's super exciting. I know that I don't know if there's a lot of question, but I know that I've had a few people ask me. So I think that's great to have out there. And then you can just link them this video. And, yeah. And that's, that's good. And also like, I would like to get some content content creators that kind of main certain games. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think apex will probably, probably be one that we're going to no. be looking for. No, we already got one. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, if, or I, I mean, I guess variety doesn't matter too, but it would be cool to start building up eventually to where you get enough people where, they can compete in tournaments and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Under Ridge or whatever. But for sure. We'll get to that point eventually. I think we have gone over our time on this one. Another solid episode, I'd have to say. Episode four of Ridge Talk. Um, this will be out in a couple weeks from when we recorded this. So that's why we're wearing the same stuff because we <laughs> recorded two episodes. Yep. But we appreciate you guys listening. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the boys. Check us out on Twitch, Ridge Gaming 21, Trev's LOL. Check out Trev's YouTube, Trev's. On, um, and just share uh, share the video or the podcast. We'd really appreciate it. Follow us on our socials. There'll be links on the YouTube video to all of our channels, Trevor's channels. And we hope you guys have a wonderful day, evening, wherever you're at in the world. We love you. We appreciate you. Game and Give. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye.